Okay, this is Lisa Goes Gaga, um, season 23. Um, well, the first time I watched this around, it made me cry. In a bad way. Okay, I don't even know what to think of this couch gag. They just kind of look like Lego characters, but not quite, I guess. It's not funny. Just weird. Oh, wait, Wiimotes, I guess. Yeah, they're playing a game. Uh, I think I wrote a review on this on an account they read the password to on IMDb. I think I think I rated it two out of ten. Uh, I wonder how I'll feel like the second time around. This is one of the worst episodes in the entire series, but there is a lot of good ish and mediocre. In modern Simpsons, good ish, not good, good ish. The narrator's voice, it like hurts my ears for some reason. It's like they, they, aren't, they aren't talking right or something. And they're just showing like townspeople in Springfield doing very boring things. Like, really? Can you make filler be more interesting? Is that supposed to be funny? Because that's just weird. The, the, they missed it. The creatures of the earth sensed it. The fish of the deep sensed it. Lady Gaga, the egomaniac coming to Springfield. Unfortunately, I slightly liked Lady Gaga's music, but this freaking episode of The Simpsons tainted my tainted my view on her on her. M makes her look like an, an annoying egomaniac. Is that supposed to be funny? Having the chickens lay that? They're just being very weird right now. That's it. This makes me cringe so hard right now. Oof, seriously. Too, too selfish. Too selfish looking. This hurts my eyes. This just hurts my eyes. They wasted that animation or whatever. That looks like something that should happen on Futurama, but not to the freaking Lady Gaga. It's like they wasted the animation. Like, what the heck? Springfield has the lowest self-esteem of any place on the planet. Yeah, right. They just... They seem okay. They just seem very weird and very, very funny sometimes. At least... At least probably seasons 1 through 12, so I feel like that. I don't know. What's up with his hat? No, no, no. I almost feel like Lady Gaga like bribed them to make this episode or something. Or, I don't know. They're just so freaking high on celebrity worship. It's annoying. That looks so wrong. Ugh. I almost feel bad for them, even, even though they're like fictional freaking lizards. Yeah, right. Shelbyville kind of feels like a sister city to them, in my opinion. Well, at least... They, uh, Shelbyville and Springfield seem pretty freaking similar. They seem just like doppelgangers of each other. I think it was on that Lemon of Troy episode, but I can't quite remember. What? That's just random. And weird. Okay. Teachers carry less than ten dollars cash. Are they trying to make it look like a bad neighborhood or something? I guess. Lisa won the award for least popular student. <sighs> She's really sad about it. And this is embarrassing as heck for her. Like, why the heck are you like why are you doing this? You, you, they're, they're torturing their characters to no freaking good reason. I mean, why can't the story be better? Probably because all the writers left, except for probably a like, tiny, tiny handful of them. She's so sad about the reward. What the heck? Okay, I think that the episode with, the, with her freaking having a crush on Nelson and going to detention... I think it was like season eight. The, that's a lot. That's a lot better. <sighs> Not this. Oh yeah, the embarrassing thing about this is gonna get exposed in 
the episode that that's actually that's actually Lisa trying to defend herself and being like behind a freaking fake name. And she she's gonna make a big fool out of herself. And this is just why. Uh oh, her notes of tr her truth teller got exposed. Now she's. Ugh. And then, then freaking Lady Gaga is gonna come and she's gonna be like, uh, uh, I'm gonna give you high better self esteem, Lisa, blah, 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 and make a big fool of herself, too. This episode seriously made me freaking cry the first time around. And it made me, like, think, oh my gosh, I really hope that the freaking writers get put out of their misery with Shoney's end. She's like having some paranormal experience about Lisa being so sad. This is ridiculous, and it doesn't make any sense at all. It like doesn't even make sense in a fun way. Oh my. She's being really extra stupidly dramatic about it too. Okay, Lady Gaga, at least the episode version of this. There's a big difference between someone like a freaking therapist and someone like an entertainer. I think you're getting those mixed up. Uh, I'm not. I, I'm not a professional at all, but I, I think she's really getting those mixed up or some crap like that. The whole town is excited over something stupid. They had to make a a newspaper article to to, to diss her. Really. Why is everyone being so freaking mean for no reason? It's like, I want Lisa to misbehave, at least. But she's not misbehaving. T to make up for the bad treatment of her. Lisa doesn't want to be here. And she's miserable. And, and uh... This is just cringe music right now. If this is one of Lady Gaga's actual songs, it's probably the worst one of them all. It really does sound like her voice, but I hate her singing, like, songs about, I don't even know anymore, it hurts. Okay, I'm on the verge of crying again right now. This, like, hurts. What the heck is she doing? Yeah, I am so, so close to crying right now. This just, this doesn't feel like The Simpsons. This feels like some cringe animation, um, created by some, a fan of the Simpsons at this freaking point. It's like, it's dead, and it's like, oh, like, this is, this is the worst. And I agree that it's the worst. She's having a weird, um, spiritual Lisa experience that's crazy. Doesn't make sense. A lot of things in here don't. Even in a fictional standpoint. Lady Gaga just asked Lisa what's wrong, and she's like freaking out, and she like doesn't want any more intention. Yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm on Lisa's side with this crap. Lady Gaga is being very, very rude, putting a spotlight on her. Like, actual spotlight. Like, really? Why are you torturing Lisa by trying to be fake nice? Really, this doesn't make sense at all. And, and I've said that a lot, but, like, why? Why does she want to, like, go talk to Lisa and... It's, you can't make everyone freaking happy, and sometimes people are happy or unhappy for a valid reason. Like, I don't know. What makes me think that you're th I'm the devil, really? <sighs> She's just messing with freaking Ned Flanders' mind right now. That's rude. Okay, so like Lady Gaga's like trying to pretend to be Lisa's friend f for some reason. What? Oh my gosh, well, why the, why is Lady Gaga doing this when she just wants to be left alone? It's so rude. It is so rude. I swear. Makes me really appreciate the part of Modern Simpsons that's slightly funny, or has an okay story to it. Because there's a large chunk of it that's like that. Okay, this is probably one of the worst parts of the entire episode. Um, she's trying to cheer Marge up, and then she decides to kiss when that doesn't work. Kiss without. Without consent. Really? That is very rude. And horrible. 
They're all making fun of her still, seriously. This kind of reminds me of, like, Boys of Bummer, but, like, the Lisa version instead. <sighs> Lisa's really angry about the way that Lady Gaga's trying to cheer her up. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is... I, I, like, I'm so close to crying right now over how stupid this episode is. Lady Gaga just got roasted by Lisa, and Lisa's really frustrated. And I, I really freaking agree with Lisa. She's like the only freaking person on this episode that makes some sort of sense. I don't get it, but the episode kind of ends with like Lisa uh, actually being cheered up by Lady Gaga. This is so stupid and ridiculous. I'm feeling repetitive and it kind of hurts, it, like absolutely hurts my head watching this episode. Uh, ow. Uh, I still find this a 2 out of 10. Um, I don't know why it's 2 out of 10 instead of 1 out of 10. I still think this is the worst episode in the entire series. And I agree with a lot of people on IMDb, that's for sure.